On July 5, 2025, amateur astronomer Mario Rana in Virginia recorded a faint flash on Saturn, sparking speculation of a possible impact, the first ever caught on video for the planet. But science requires confirmation. After a global call for supporting observations, none were found, and tools like DETECT ruled out an impact. The brief flicker was likely noise or an artifact. While not a discovery, the event highlights how extraordinary claims are tested and how amateur astronomers worldwide now play a vital role in monitoring planets. Keep watching this video to know more about this topic. The story began routinely. Mario Rana, an astrophotographer and contributor to community imaging projects, had his telescope trained on Saturn. Using a planetary camera, he recorded a series of video frames that would later be stacked for detail. In one brief sequence, a sudden flash appeared. It lasted for just a frame or two before vanishing. To those familiar with planetary observing, it resembled the impact flashes often recorded on Jupiter. That similarity was what drew attention. Saturn has never had a confirmed atmospheric impact captured in real time. While impacts are expected, the planet is more difficult than Jupiter for such detections. Its pale, hazy disk offers low contrast, and any debris or scars vanish quickly. A visible strike, therefore, would be extraordinary. The PVOL team immediately asked for independent confirmation. The principle is straightforward. If two or more observers in different places record the same flash at the same time, coincidence is ruled out. This was how Jupiter's impacts have been verified since 2010, when amateurs captured short-lived flashes, later analyzed by professionals. For Rana's candidate, other observers were urged to submit raw videos, timestamps, and equipment details. These data allow scientists to separate real events from artifacts. The response showed how ready the community has become to support such efforts. For a few days, the possibility of a first Saturn impact detection remained open. But planetary science requires more than one set of eyes. Confirming planetary impacts is never simple, but Saturn adds particular complications. The planet is made almost entirely of hydrogen and helium. An incoming object is quickly absorbed, and any visible energy release fades in moments. Unlike rocky surfaces that preserve craters, Saturn leaves no permanent scars. Imaging techniques also contribute to false positives. Planetary observers often process videos with sharpening algorithms to bring out details. These methods can exaggerate edges, producing false flashes near the planet's limb. A single bright spot, especially at the edge, is just as likely to be an artifact as a true impact. This is why independent confirmation is essential. Software like DETECT was built to scan hours of planetary video for transient flashes. On Jupiter, it has flagged dozens of candidates since 2010, several of which became confirmed events when captured by multiple observers. In Saturn's case, the system found no corroborating detections. Other recordings from July 5th did not show the same flash. With no second source, the event could not be classified as an impact. The statistical odds reinforce this. A 2025 analysis estimated that it experiences a collision with an object at least a kilometer wide only once every 3,125 years. Smaller strikes happen more often, but they are still difficult to catch. The chance of a lone observer recording one without independent confirmation is low. Science is cautious for good reason. Extraordinary claims require strong evidence, and in this case, the evidence did not hold. But that outcome carries its own lessons. Even when an event is ruled out, the process has real value. Each candidate improves the methods and reinforces the global network of observers. Impacts on giant planets serve as markers of how often stray bodies move through the outer solar system. They provide real-world data points to test computer models of asteroid and comet populations. Comparing the frequency of flashes on Jupiter and Saturn 
helps refine predictions of how many objects may eventually approach Earth. These detections also reveal details about the impactors themselves. By analyzing the brightness and duration of a confirmed flash, astronomers can estimate the object's size, velocity, and composition. In 2010, a meteoroid roughly 10 meters across struck Jupiter, producing a two-second flash caught independently by two amateurs. Professional follow-up of that event offered insights into its energy and material makeup. For Saturn, a confirmed impact would be even more valuable. Its rings already record collisions with smaller debris, but a direct atmospheric strike would provide unique information about how the planet interacts with wandering bodies. Amateur astronomers are central to this work. Large observatories cannot continuously monitor the giant planets, but thousands of amateurs worldwide record hours of video every night. Their distributed observations form a collective safety net. Rana's flash, even though unconfirmed, activated that network, demonstrated its readiness, and reminded everyone why such collaborations are essential. The larger message is clear. Science advances not only through confirmed discoveries, but also through careful elimination of false leads. Each case, whether real or not, strengthens our understanding and our preparedness for the next genuine event. The July 5th flash on Saturn wasn't an impact, but it's a reminder of how science works. Curiosity, skepticism, and global collaboration. Saturn impacts are rare and fleeting, but when one is confirmed, it will reveal new truths about our solar system's hazards. This time was a false alarm. Next time could be history. Keep watching the skies.